Hi, so in this video, we will learn Azure Pipeline and deploying onto Linode Kubernetes cluster. Linode is also a very popular uh, Kubernetes cluster service provider. So let's start it. This is uh, just login into the cloud.linode.com, sign up with the Google or you can have your own ID and you can start working on it. So let's go to the Kubernetes in the left navigation pane create the clusters and just uh, select uh, your name region I will go with Mumbai I just said demo Linode and you can have a latest version so now you can select from anyone any of this uh, listed uh, CPU or shared CPU or high memory whatever the I will go with the cheapest because I do not want some more um, cost to be laid on my account so I'll go for this one okay it's recommending for three downtime okay I am not worried about much so it will take little time so until that let's create a Spring Boot application go to the start.spring.io select maven and demo linode select the dependency as a web and download so now just go to the download folder copy and put your working directory for me I'll create a new directory for the Linode and paste it okay now you can extract and open it into the IntelliJ so I have previous project and I'll go with file new project from existing source and then select maven trust this project a new window so again go to the SRC and create a simple controller so demo linode controller I'll just annotate it with uh, REST controller and I'll have a simple method say hello and it has a get mapping hello and return string saying hello from from Azure pipeline and Linode Kubernetes service okay now let's try to run a simple and then we'll start working on the Kubernetes cluster So looks like it's running and let's check the browser yes and let's check the endpoint even it's working fine so now from the previous example we can put um, the chart folder or the hem and just paste it over here and in the deployment also we will try load balancer as well in the digital ocean the load balancer was not so easy but we will try over here if it is not working then we'll go with the cluster ip so go open the deployment uh, on the values and here the cluster ip is at so let's change it to load balancer okay so now we have done with this 
now let's create uh, let's see the progress uh, it's almost created I guess yeah it's running both are running but let's uh, create our uh, project dev.azure and cre create a new project demo linode yes and click on the repo just go with that and in the terminal git just init the git repository and paste the URL that we have copied add all and this commit first commit and then push just copy this portion and paste it you all set just verify whether we get yes we got everything now now we will put a uh, plug plugin that we have done previously so I'll put over here and I'll change the password as well. Okay, so basically some of the things that we will change here we will create a repository in a docker hub and our um, main class that is demo application. So this is the package change the package and change the class name okay now we all set and so now let's go to the docker hub and create a repository demo denode so we'll create the repository and now we'll try using the zip build so go to the maven and then go to the plugin and go to the zip and select on the zip build so this may take a little while I'll pause video for time being. So build got successful and now let's commit the rest of the things. Form update. Okay, now go to the repository we are all set ok so now set up the build select the maven and just change it to 1.17 here goal should be clean compile and zip build this is a basic pipeline then we will update with, with a deployment pipeline as well so let's check and run it will take around a minute meanwhile we will copy the um, cube config and here is the view so we just down, download it and copy into the cube config folder so go to the users and your user or admin in my case and here just copy and paste I'll make a backup of previous one three and I'll just say rename this file to config 
so now let's open that and this is our config file okay so now we need a service connection from Azure so let's go to the project and select this Linode and we'll try this thing service connection the first connection and Kubernetes select the Kubernetes cube config and we'll see whether it will work otherwise we'll create a service account so verification looks like failed so we'll try other methods after clicking on this accept unthrusted certificate it looks like it's working but we'll see whether it is really working or not okay so now go to the pipeline and select our project demo, demo lead out and in azure pipeline now we will put extra tasks which are required for deployment so I will edit it and paste over here so these are the tasks so this is a published artifact we will rename to Linode and then this will this task will download the artifact then this task uh, will simply install the Helm CLI and there's this is this is the task is just for debugging we have a script file and this is the task for deploying so I'll put a release name as this and I'll put a connection name as Linode connection so let's look like all good and now let's go to the get nodes so there are two nodes are running and helm list nothing is there okay so now we'll run the pipeline looks okay and it will automatically run the pipeline this is the previous one give the permission and let's see this may take a little while so I'll pause the video so our pipeline is running successfully so let's check and verify ham list is deployed now kubectl get pods running kubectl get um, deploy is running kubectl get svc running external IP is this so let's try this thing on a browser and our first endpoint is hello so hello Kubernetes from Digital Ocean. Okay, sorry. Uh, in, instead of Linode, uh, okay. So I have actually in the values to YAML, I have taken the previous image. So I'll just change it. Uh, so again, but it's successfully run. Our pipeline is working, deployed on the Linode. But for the sake of uh, the testing we can just change it to demo linode and uh, i hope that is our yeah demo linode okay and i'll change it to this and i will rerun the pipeline so we have checked in fact both the previous image or different image which i have used for the digital ocean and then the now this image so let's again take the status commit 
updated image and post test image. Basically, our all service connection and all been tested, but let's rerun the pipeline. It will not take more time. So pipeline has already triggered because uh, unlike uh, the previous one, we have didn't change this trigger. So hopefully it should work within a minute. So let's monitor this pipeline. And meanwhile, I'll remove this uh, have Helm uninstall. So this may take a little while, so I'll pause the video. Yes, so successfully run. So again, let's go to the command prompt, get ports, check the logs. This is good. Kubeshift, get SVC, and click on this external IP and Go to the browser again and select hello. So now we are getting hello from Azure Pipeline and Linode Kubernetes. So this is uh, successfully we have uh, tried Azure Pipeline with five different Kubernetes service from Azure, uh, AKS, then GKE, then DigitalOcean, then AWS and the Linode itself. Everywhere we got success in deploying from Azure to different Kubernetes service. So that's it for this uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.